addiction in America. Who could forget this TV message from 1987? Remember this PSA? This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Very effective. It has been recognized as one of the top commercials of all time. But all these years later, many people still don't realize there is proven research that that story is true. Your brain on drugs. Today, we continue our discussion on addiction in America. We're joined by a man who has committed his life to understanding drug addiction, the director of the Laboratory for Behavioral and Molecular Neuroimaging at the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research, Dr. Stephen Dewey. Doctor, real pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Okay, so uh, yesterday we had a compelling story uh, about a woman whose husband lost his life to heroin. We're going to talk particularly about heroin because it is such... First of all, how big a problem is heroin becoming in the United States? Well, I've been talking to kids for, for, for decades, and what I've, se I've never seen a drug explode on the scene as much as the opiates have. Um, I think some of the statistics suggest that 10, 20 percent of kids in high school have tried an opiate for a non-medical reason. Right. So it's really kind of exploding. And in, it's, oftentimes it starts with the kids where, you know, mom and dad aren't around, they get something out of the medicine chest, right? It's, it tends to be the most common way, right. People leave um, pain medication, narcotic opiates in their medicine cabinet and before you know it, they're gone. So sure. they disappear and they end up at pill parties. Yeah. And how many times have people, have you heard people say, well, you know, all these uh, warnings about addiction, it's all in your head. Well, as it turns out, that's accurate. Correct. And I do hear it. I hear it all the time. But, but when you say it's all in your head, it really is. Meaning there are dramatic changes in brain chemistry that underlie not only the addictive process, but the pathology that subsequently develops. Okay. You have a CAT scan here of uh, what? It's actually a PET scan. A PET scan. PET Thank scan. You. And what it's looking at are dopamine receptors. And what we see in the human brain is dopamine is, is in high concentrations. What does dopamine do? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter in your brain. Its primary role is movement, but it also plays a very important role in your ability to feel pleasure. So you naturally have dopamine Absolutely. in your system. And dopamine will elevate in response to a natural reward. Being okay. with a spouse, correct. All right, so in the picture with the normal Right. Brain in right the normal there. brain, you're actually looking at receptors that dopamine binds to. Because there's a little extra red in there. Right. And you're just looking at the colors, the reds and the blues. Okay. And what you see in the chronic heroin abuser, this guy over here. on the right, over time, because you're elevating dopamine levels so high, receptor numbers start to decrease. So you're actually seeing an organic change in brain chemistry. Dopamine receptors, the molecules that dopamine binds to, go away the longer you sure. abuse the drug. So this is your brain on drugs? That is your brain on drugs. All right. So for people thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm just doing a little something, eventually they wind up hooked on something terrible like heroin, um, the short-term effects on that person are what? So short-term, when you use heroin, dopamine levels increase, GABA levels decrease. That increase in dopamine is what produces the euphoria that's associated with the drug. Long-term, as you continue to use the drug, the consequences of an increase in brain dopamine are a decrease in dopamine receptors. Right. And, you know, the image a lot of people have of heroin use is, you know, if you, if you do it once, you'll get hooked forever. Is that true? Well, there's some evidence that a single dose can get people hooked. That tends to be not the most common approach, right? right. People don't, people get hooked over time it's not necessarily a single dose, but in some cases it can be. And the reason, after they've tried it the first time, the first time you do it, what do you feel? So people report euphoria. Um, um, you feel fantastic. You feel fantastic is what people will report, that's correct. Okay, that's the first time you use heroin, then what happens? Well, because dopamine levels continue, increase as a consequence of heroin use, receptor number goes down. What that means in the real world is you need to use more drug to get the same high. Mm -hmm. So what you hear is people are chasing that first high, and to do so, you need to increase your dose. And then eventually, through time, you cook your brain. You lose dopamine receptors throughout time. I think one of the things we need to look at as well is the dopamine story is in fact a compelling one. But 
dopamine is linked to other neurotransmitters yeah. in the brain and they change as well. Mm -hmm. The number one thing you want to make sure people understand, and we're trying to get through this week during our series on heroin addiction, is people, you know, there are a lot of stories out there. You need education. Absolutely. And if I could send any message, it's that we need to educate. We need people to understand that drug addiction is an organic brain disease that as you use drugs, your brain chemistry changes. So we need people to understand that, in fact, it's a very real disease, an organic brain disease. Right. I mean, we all know that it's uh, very addictive. It's bad. But your news today is it changes your brain. It absolutely changes your brain. All right. Uh, Dr. Stephen Dewey, Thank really interesting much. stuff. Thank you very Thank much. You. And thanks for your life's work in this because it is much. so important.